Hillary Harris was thinking of moving. Her house in Eau Claire, Wisconsin was quaint, but she hated the house next door. First, there was that shared driveway. Then there was the constant turnover of renters who moved in, some of whom were less than desirable neighbors. When these newcomers moved in, Hillary says she had enough. Here we go again. Like, now what? You know, so I was turned off by her. The two neighbors were cold to each other. She would not acknowledge me whatsoever. I would come get my mail. Shut it. Watch her walk into the house. But for some reason, the new neighbor felt a bond with Hillary's seven-year-old daughter, Stella. Hillary's husband, Lance, got to know the new neighbor. He found out her name was Dawn, and she came from Greenwood, Wisconsin, just like Hillary, who had been adopted when she was a baby. The two women would soon find out that they had shared a lot more than a common driveway. She could be my sister. And he's like, no. Yeah, and it just no. seemed, uh, it seemed too far-fetched. For Hillary, the final piece of the puzzle came when she learned her neighbor's last name was Johnson. And I knew it had to be my sister. Hillary had found her long-lost sister. We have the same dad, don't we? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, how can this be? I could <laughs> not believe my sister was living next door to me. And it is magical and crazy. The two sisters began to compare similarities. We have the same chins. And they have some advice for anyone who may not be getting along with their neighbor. Your next door neighbor may actually be your sister. 